Hey guys, it's Gaza Montana here, the original demo disc player before they decided to give an abbreviation when it was just called what it was called. I hope everyone's doing alright and everything. The Madrazo Dispatch Contact Missions is double money in RP this week. So to find these jobs, go to the pause menu, go to jobs, go to Rockstar Creator, then go to missions, then go to dispatch, and you go ahead and do these for double money in RP. Make sure you're on a free aim session if you want a little bit more RP and the best time to finish the contact missions is around four minutes time. Okay, so in between four and six minutes, you're gonna get 50% of the maximum payout that you can possibly get. The maximum payout will be at 15 minutes. Okay, so any time after 15 minutes, you're not gonna get any more money. So 50% of the money in four minutes is the best time to do it because if you do this mission three times, like you're gonna get 150% in just 12 minutes rather than waiting for the entire 15 minutes to get a full 100% payout. Now the best contact mission out of all of them, I reckon is the Dispatch Free, where you just have to go to the airport and blow up a plane. Now, go to the airport, wait for about three minutes or three and a half minutes, then go and blow up the plane. If you wait until four minutes, the plane's gonna start flying off, which you can do that anyway and just blow up the plane whilst it's flying off, if you've got a Mark II or whatnot. Now, um, guys, there is a little bit of an issue here though. Do you remember when the Project Overthrow DLC came out, Rockstar turned the Martin Madrazo contact missions from having to be a minimum of two players to start these missions to now being one player's minimum to start, which is great and everything. Uh, the only problem is they forgot to change that when you put them in a playlist. So if you put these in a playlist, they are still a minimum of two players. So guys, if you're gonna wanna do these, you can't pop them in a playlist if you wanna do them solo, yeah? Because Rockstar has forgot to change that and I only just found this out and this was, a little, this was like last June when the Project Overthrow DLC came out so it's been a year and it, it, these have to be a minimum of two players if they're in a playlist. So um, yeah that kind of sucks because the best way and quickest way to start up this mission again and again and again and again is to have it in a playlist. I tried it for two of the dispatch missions and both of them said that you have to have a minimum of two players. So unless you're playing this with our players, guys, don't put them in a playlist. You have to back up the single player and then go and start up the next one or just start up whichever one they're offering you next. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to do the same one over and over and over again as quick as possible using the playlist feature. Now, the payout for dispatch contact missions was increased permanently with the bottom dollar bounties DLC and now it's double money. So definitely worth doing and the RP is definitely worth doing for the RP as well. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you find it helpful, drop a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more. The GTA videos like this one, have a lovely day, God's peace, see you next one, peace out.